So, this is my robotic pneumatic arm that I built for my robotics internship. It's my semester one project. Um, it's powered by pneumatic pistons. This is from the uh, VEX pneumatics lab kit. Um, they're single acting pistons and the reservoir is round. I feel volume is, but it's the max pressure it stores is 100 psi. Uh, the pistons give around 54 newtons. So, uh, the way this is angled, the amount of uh, forces, so the weight of the arm is being counteracted by this elastic band, and the uh, the amount of lifting force has initially has the uh, I think it's around a 30 degree angle. So, a 30 degree angle of of um, of the uh, 54 newtons of the piston. That's the uh, maximum lifting force that it has. Uh, you can see that these joints are articulated, so they can contour around any sh contour around any shape. Um, these are um, you can see that there are springs on the articulations, and that's what makes it come back. And uh, to grip it, there's a piston acting on these. Um, these strings that cause tension and pull them in and close. Um, so they're attached here down to this piston and when it's on it will pull them back and cause motion. So uh, it's powered by this uh, VEX microcontroller just the brain of the robot, battery, tank reservoir, and uh, the way I control the pressure is I have this motor right here. Um, this motor is able to control how much pressure is going into it uh, by, by changing the amount of um, air, the or by, by just changing uh, the amount of how much the regulator has been spun. And I do that by attaching to a motor, and um, I program it, programmed it so that the motor, uh, it's on a servo, so I've had to program it so that it stops when it reaches here with this limit switch, and it stops when it reaches here with this other limit switch. Um, okay, so these are the solenoids. They're the magnetic switches that uh, allow pressure in and out of the system. Uh, they go into these pistons, which power the movement of this robot. And um, you input pressure through this thing right here. This is the uh, the bike pump or the tire pump uh, input. So we just have to get like a bike pump. Um, I'll make another video where I show this thing getting input or getting pressure, getting pressurized, and then moving about and lifting things. All right, cool. Here's the uh, motor to control the pressure regulator running. This is decreasing pressure. Increasing noise pressure. And these uh, limit switches keep it from going over and under. Or going over um, the motor and uh, pulling completely out from the motor. Alright, so I have the uh, arm attached to a bike pump. Um, I'm going to pressurize it soon, and um, it's connected by a tele-op cable to this uh, remote control, and um, we're going to be testing a stuffed animal, a paper towel, uh, paper towels, Febreze, and a water bottle. All right. Test one. A stuffed animal.
Test two, paper towels. Ugh. Test three, this can of Febreze. Test number four, this full water bottle. Test number four, this full water bottle. 